Oh, YouTube, um, Jacob Phillips again, of course. <laughs> um, and, um, uh, just not gonna walk through yet. I'm gonna download that later. Cause I gotta do a few things. Um, but, um, anyway, I wanna bring a serious subject up. Um, this is about gun safety. And it's a, by all means, a very serious thing. It's a very serious subject. Now, sometimes, of course, I'm gonna be bowling around saying I'm gonna, like, no fucks given or anything like that. I'm gonna have the safety. Oh, I don't like that, but no, that's idiotic, extremely idiotic. Um, just doing hunting, because a lot of incidents happen where the guy didn't have his safety on. <laughs> didn't drop a foot, or the arm, or the guy next to him gets shot in the neck. You don't want that to happen. Nope. 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 Never. Um, I mean, I left, I had a picture once, and like, people will start at saying, so. Oh. You should have your finger on the trigger, your safety must be on. Well, I'm gonna be honest here right now. <laughs> Magnums and some other types of revolvers, they don't really have safeties. Except their lock mechanism for the chamber. So, either way, there's really no safety on that gun. So, I mean, I'm not trying to be a douche. Or being mean, but really, I understand the terms of gun safety. And when I'm like just blowing off, saying, "Oh, I don't, I don't care," your fingers are safety. I know. Trust me. By all means, I understand. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a very, very bad situation with gun safety. That's probably most of the reason why the gun laws have been going around. Um, not just because of the terrible shootings that have been happening and everything like that. Um. There's piece by piece. There is problems involved involving with semi or fully automatic weapons. Um, but if you're legitimately trained or was teach how to use a firearm, you should understand the basics. Um, or you just have the safety on. I mean, really, just when the firing is cold, safety on. Firing is hot. That means you can turn your safety off and fire at the target. Something like that always for. If you're going down to rifle ranges or um, target practice at, um, within military facilities, everything like that. It's just always a very, very, very big problemo when people do not have their safety is on because they can have terrible consequences. Terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, by all means, I haven't really been in a life experience of somebody having their um, safety off when they shouldn't have it off in the first place um but I mean I've definitely known people that have in those type of situations like especially of um a few friends of mine um let's see for my name Adam he goes out he lives down in PA and uh he um like he's a big gun nut as myself and he went down there once and he was following all the rules of course he was being a good guy just being smart about it and this other guy wasn't and uh, what ended up happening is the guy stumbled, um, the gun fell on forward. And at the time, he had his neck along like this. The barrel was probably up this, and the bolt shot up. And, I mean, they just grazed his nose, and the long, basically the, his scalp along here. And he wasn't too good. It was not too good. It was a really bad situation. That was... Bad life experience for the kid, and I feel sorry for him. But, um, yeah, like as I say, yeah, I've never really been in that type of situation. I understand the terms of having a safety lock on your gun within the household, having the safety, of course, on. Um, the gun is not loaded, you keep the bolt separate, which is I do as well for my weapons. Um, it's this big ordeal. I don't care, like, whatever type of gun I have, a pellet gun, uh, airsoft gun, a real gun, I mean, I keep everything separate from one another, I don't keep any rounds of bolts in the chamber or anything like that, I don't, um, oh, my bad, um, but yeah, it's, I mean, sometimes I can get about hurt about, like, um, how can I put this, um, like, my maturity towards it, Really? My maturity towards having a safety off? I mean, that's... Especially if I got like, okay, okay, I apologize, but the person keeps going on, you're calling me immature? 
But anyway, um, going back towards the subject, um, just guys, whoever owns a firearm, um, who's ever been in an ordeal of using weapons, um, for any type of situation really, or any type of just playing out, having fun, keep your safety on um, before you fire the freaking thing. I mean, I'm not trying to try to keep my um my use of words <laughs> um really assertive but not cool okay <laughs> um but yeah just keep your safety on by all means um especially like someone's like going throughout the field like what basically I don't care like at a firing range while you're hunting anything like that someone's going on your eye view and when you're pointing that weapon and you have your safety off by all means you can accidentally pull the trigger and you had the possibility of killing them um uh, because that's there's a few stories based on that especially when um these two kids they um went out to wilderness he, um, his, he brought he took his dad to um, 22 um, and they were just like firing at cans and anything like that um, and they were going down a steep hill the kill of the rifle slipped and he didn't have the safety on and he shot that other kid straight between the chest um, and he didn't die instantly but he ended up dying I apologize, um, trying to get teary out here. Um, but he. He was gone. He and that kid was destroyed, and, uh, he went to jail. He went to jail for quite a bit. Um, and to be honest, I know those, I know those two kids very well. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just, uh, they're two very close friends of mine, by all means, and I'm not gonna give out their names or anything like that. So because I'm not, it's personal, very personal. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, guys, just don't be idiotic, don't be stupid, don't whoever you want to use the words, and don't be dumb. <laughs> really. So that's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, I want to. I just brought that subject to um, today because it's just I saw some things on the news that weren't pretty. Um, that involved su such of um the case for weaponry. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope this changes your minds for about a few things. Um. So yeah, I know quite a few people that take this highly seriously, very very seriously. Um, Ben Grant for one. I um. Bottom of my last video, and by all means, Ben, if you watch this video, um, I am sorry. I am so sorry that I was acting like a jackass. I mean, trust me, by all means, I understand the terms of gun safety. I really do. So I just want to let you know that. Um, so by all means, I hope we're still both good because I find you as a really great guy. A really really great guy and thank you for subscribing me as well because I like your videos too um but yeah that's all I have I hope you guys um just learned a few things for the fellow people that don't really pay attention towards gun safety um so we're at ashes and I'll see you around bye